So here at the OPC Summit, who are you? Uh, I'm Tulka Hastro from Finland. So what do you do? Um, I've uh, visited an OLPC uh, implementation in Peru, but then um, I work in a consulting company and currently we consult for uh, Floss Manuals. So what is Floss Manuals? So Floss Manuals is uh, free documentation for free software. And uh, we have a software platform where you can uh, collaboratively write books online. You, you write stuff that can also be printed out? Yes. So in the end of the process, um, you click a button to export PDF. And if you tick a box for lulu.com, we will also uh, upload the PDF automatically to lulu.com and you can order a print uh, copy from there. How much is, it, there, is a print? Uh, it's uh, a few dollars per book. Where does the money go? Just for print? Um, yes, and I suppose lulu.com takes some profit for their own. Yeah. But if you find a cheaper place, just download the PDF and ship it to another publisher. So how does it work, the editor? Right, so here we have it um, open. Um, so the first version of Floss Manuals was just a normal wiki, but now we developed this software that is optimized for um, creative book writing. So here you see the table of contents of the OpenStreetMap book, which was one of the four that we just uh, finished this week. And so, for instance, it's easy to uh, reorder chapters. You can just uh, drag and drop to a different place. Um, Is it exactly like Wiki? Everybody can change stuff inside or yes. different revisions? How do you manage yes. all this? Yes, so um, basically it's uh, per chapter. Uh, each chapter has uh, revisions, and then you can also clone the book if you want to make, say, a version in another language. You, you clone uh, the one in English and you replace the text with another language. Uh, it's also federated, so uh, different languages can run their own uh, Bookie installations. Bookie is the name of the, the, the pla software platform. Also, say, OLPC could have its own uh, Bookie.laptop.org. So uh, there's basically there are hundreds of books, hundreds of topics, uh, hundreds of people collaborating. Yes. Who's interested in this? OLPC is. For instance, OLPC has their their uh, set of uh, activity manuals. They have something like ten here, and they are just in the process of um, updating these. So what we find. Um, an issue that we are trying to solve is that developers uh, have difficulty prioritizing documentation. So one very good way we've come to work around this is something called book sprints. A book sprint is an intense event of approximately five days, approximately ten people, and they will be kind of locked in a room to, to get finished on a book in the topic that they decide in, during the first day, they decide on the table of contents, and then they just start writing as quickly as possible, and during the week they will edit it, and this can be the result. So this is one of the books we Did also finished this like week. this at, at Google? Google? Yes, this was with uh, uh, Google Summer of Code project. So which, which topics did you do over there? So what we have here is KDE, subtitle Beginning KDE Development. We have OpenStreetMap, subtitle A New User's Guide. OpenMRS, subtitle Implementer's Guide. Sahana Eden, subtitle Essential Guide. So this was done in how long time? Three in, days? Yes, last, just last week. So Three days, how many people? Um, about eight per group, so I think we were 30 something in total. 30 uh, developers who stopped developing for a few, three days and they all collaborated on work on, exactly. on writing. Exactly. And you do the software for that collaboration. Yes, so if we still want to see this a bit more, so you just choose one of the chapters to edit. And, um, I'm having a bit slow network problem now, but it so it's web-based uh, Java. What do you call this? Uh, Ajax stuff? Yes, Ajax. Um, a lot so, of Ajax. Yes, there's a Visivic HTML editor that's loading right now. Slow internet. I don't know why. Yes. Maybe you need a EXO laptop with better Wi-Fi. <laughs> yes. <Thank you. laughs> All right. And. Uh, it's on the cloud. Okay. Where, yes. where do you, what kind of host do you have? Yes, so um, you can host your own. So it's it's free software. So um, plus manuals. There are now 
big active language communities at the moment, the English one, the French one and the Finnish one, and we are hoping to have more, and anyone can set up their own Wookiee server. Um, it's made in Python, same as the um, sugar uh, system. Is this only for manuals or could it also be for any kind of books in the future? It can be for other types of books as well. For instance, here I have to show this um, book about an open web. What is this kind of book? So, um, widening from this idea of uh, open source software, the openness of, of the web, the open standards, how you could stop using the closed services like uh, Facebook and Gmail and use uh, what are the open alternatives instead. Nice. So, so this book sprint methodology can be used in... So in you need methodology for this to work, but could you also do like fiction? Uh, yes, yes you could. I, I know there are uh, experiments at the moment to do, to do uh, fiction as well. What yes. are you going to do in the future with this? What features do you need to add? Or is um, everything finished now? Oh, look, now the Visivic uh, editor loaded. <laughs> So it's just so it's very simple to write. Uh, you don't need technical understanding. I found that even people find wikis if they're not technical people, yeah. they find wikis difficult. It's simpler this, than wiki. Yeah, this is much easier. Yes. Like editing a doc file. Right. Um, what do we have to? What do we want to have in the future? Um, now. Feature-wise, we are kind of close to 1.0 version. Now we would need to stabilize this more. That's one thing. Do you want to um, see in real time what other people are writing keystroke by keystroke? For instance, this etherpad type uh, functionality, we hope to have at some point. Maybe we can't develop this specific uh, real-time editor ourselves, because even it seems that Google Docs and Microsoft Live are also having problem developing this. But if someone does it, and I think there are people working on that on top of uh, Google etherpad, Wave. Google Wave 2 could be an option, or then uh, based on Etherpad and Etherpad Lite. Cool. Yeah. All right. Thanks.